This is Rio of Madison Rising, and you're watching Max Speed TV. The first race of Speed Week. We unload the cop cars for the Rick Mota Cup Series, Extreme Motorsports, 99.com here at Talladega for one more race to open up the season. Defending champion Mike Rominger will be back in action tonight along with 26 other drivers who will win the first race of the season and have momentum going into round two at Chicagoland. Thank you all for coming back again tonight on Max Speed TV. I am Joshua Medlock alongside with me tonight. The king, well, little king, that is, Elvis Rankin. Elvis, buddy, glad to have you up here in the booth, man. Oh, I'm super excited. going to watch 100 laps at Talladega. There's definitely going to be a big one tonight. It's not the question is if it's going to happen. It's when is it going to happen for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. The big one is a big possibility, as always, here tonight uh, at Talladega. We've seen it for the past three nights that, you know, it, it comes down to – you know, how aggressive, of course, these drivers can get it. We don't have a lot of time right now, but I want to give a big shout-out to, of course, Michael Atkins Jr. grabbing the pole out here this evening. We'll get to him momentarily. But, Little King, we've got some uh, po uh, pre-race stuff uh, we need to go down through here real quick. The pre-race analytics starting it, uh, starting here tonight, of course, a uh, track temp of 99 degrees. Uh, laps 100, as you just mentioned earlier, 266 miles. Tires, Ellis, not a huge factor here at Talladega. Like all week long, 50 to 60 laps on tires. Fuel window, though, however, Elvis, you know all about that fuel, though. 26 to 30 laps, roughly. I think it's going to be yet again here tonight coming down to a fuel strategy call. For sure, yeah, for sure. Whoever, whichever team or driver is going to make the best fuel strategy car, you know, you said 26 to 30 is that window, but for sure at this track with the draft, there might be a little bit of wiggle room with that magic number. 
Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's just an estimate. You know, that's just uh, kind exactly. of what we throw out there. So, uh, pit road speed, as always, 55 miles per hour. Got to be careful coming down pit road. Last night, Elvis, I don't know if you got a chance to go back and take a look at that, but, man, pit road got busy. They were three wide down pit road as they came down pit road and you know that is scary enough but getting it woe down to you know 195 miles an hour to 55 that's treacherous yeah that's for sure the scariest part in my opinion of this track you know the the drafting and the strategy for this whole track but the pit road if you mess up there then your, your race is pretty much over for the most part unless oh. there's a caution Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we'll talk more about, you know, if and when there's going to be a caution here, but we don't know. Of course, you got a pace speed here of 65. Let's let's hope we don't see that any here tonight. But it, it, like I said, as always, it is a possibility. Well, Michael Atkins Jr. did grab the pole out here tonight, so let's go ahead and drag him up here real quick. He's so Michael fat, Atkins he's Jr., diet. buddy, Joshua Medlock and Elvis gotcha. up here in the booth. You got a copy? Got you, Josh. All right. Well, you're grabbing the pole out here with a 51.011, man. Talladega again, the last race uh, 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 of Talladega to open up the season, man. How you feeling? Feeling pretty good, I think. Living to the green, and I'm just going to run drive to the back and just protect the car and save it to the end. All right. That's kind of what you got to do. Well, real quick, Elvis, anything for our pole sitter here real quick? No, not really. Just good luck, have fun, and let's hope that strategy pays off for you. Yes, sir. Lord, I'll be praying for you. Mid luck, you got little king up here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he'll do just fine. I, 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 I know he will. At least I ain't got to race for him on a road course this season. <laughs> no, oh, don't, 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 don't jump the gun here. Don't jump the gun. Well, we'll be yeah, talking about that podcast. later on. Yeah. Good luck, Michael. They're already picking on Yellis. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, I just <laughs> we, knew it. I think we I think we all knew that was going to happen. Yep, yep. Well, a big shout-out to Frank Rico over there at Rick Motech and the team over there at, the, at Rick Motech for coming on board again this season to sponsor the Cup Series. I know Frank and the team, they do a lot of stuff on iRacing, and they do a lot of stuff for Extreme. I mean, you you know them very well, Elvis, over there on that, oval, on that roadside. So, um, big shout out to them, of course, as always, a big shout out to the fans for joining us. We'll get, we'll get to chat here in a little bit, but we also want to go ahead and get down here and get to our picks and I will let Elvis, Elvis, what you pick here tonight, buddy? Well, I watched that the last lap of the race last night and this guy, he finished one spot short, but I think he's going to get it done tonight. GT Hawkins is my man for the job tonight. Well, GT Hawkins is going to qualify fifth here this evening. Then we get back here. My pick here tonight is actually going to be Scott Rambler. He is going to qualify in that ninth place. But we are going to be coming down here to the grid, Elvis. And, you know, yeah, we only see 27 drivers out there. 27 cup drivers at that. This is still going to be just as intense as Monday, Tuesday, and yesterday. So don't let the little car count out here fool you. Yeah, it might be a, a smaller car count, but it's definitely a higher strength to feel for sure. These guys are going to definitely put on a good show. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get that qual time or that driver uh, bar off of there here real quick. And let me – sorry about this, folks. Oh, there we go. All right. We're going to be going ahead and updating the paints here real quick. I did not have time to get that up here. Technical difficulties. I had to re-download iRacing. I was getting an error code, and uh, <laughs> yeah, so that was all fun. Well, all right. Let's get them on the grid here tonight, folks, shall we? Already. Come on. Let's get loaded up here, guys. Get on the grid. Well, we'll go ahead and get them up here on the grid anyway. The Max Speed TV starting grid. Michael Atkins Jr. grabbing the pole. Congratulations on his first pole of the season. Tyler Holman going to start on the outside of him in second. Garrett Heath third. Chris DeBoer fourth. GT Hawkins, your pick here tonight. Going to be starting in fifth. Darren Bruce sixth. Ralph Haynes in seventh. Nicholas Vroom Vroom Vroman in eighth. Scott Rambler, my pick in ninth. And Garrett D. Grant going to round out the top 10 of Qual Elvis. 
Alrighty, we got David Weishart in the 69 in 11th, Jacob Lee in 12th, Gary May in 13th, we got John Sterling in 14th, Jacob Bell in 15th, Michael Thwaites? I'm, Thwaites? Sorry, I'm, I'm, it's alright. Thwaites, Thwaites, I'm, I, I know I've messed that up so badly, <laughs> but I'm sorry. Go ahead! Guys, McDaniel in the 25, starting 17th tonight, Timothy Zayas, Zayas. starting Zayas. in yep. uh, 18th. Richie Evans in 19th, and rounding out the top 20 is going to be Dalton Chowden. Uh, Cowden. It's all right. Cowden. You'll get, you'll get okay. used to it. You'll get used to it. Just uh, okay. go with it. <laughs> Let's nothing just go happened. with it. Yeah, yeah, nothing happened. Todd Cray, 21st. Aaron Clement, 22nd. Nick Hunt, last night's winner. I'm going to be starting back here in 23rd. I think we're going to have to watch that double zero again. KC Duncan, 24th. Paul Irvin, 25th. David Elliott, 26th. And the defending champion. Of the Cup Series, Mike Rominger is going to ride out the field here tonight on ball grid in 27th. Now, are we going to say that's a little bit of strategy? His lap time is about three seconds off pace. Is that the strategy to try and start last and make sure he's, he does the same strategy as uh, Michael Atkinson Jr.? He's going to try and go to the back and just keep his car safe for the majority of the race? Well, and, and that could be a possibility as we go ahead and roll off here. You know, different strategies, of course, here at the start, Elvis. We're going to see, I'm sure, some drivers that when they enter the backstretch out of turn, you know, turn two, you know, they're going to go below that yellow line. They're going to fall back, you know, not too much, but enough. Just so if something does happen, they're going to just go to ride it out. Now, it is early. Uh, definitely, you know, if you go a lap down, it's still going to be difficult to get that lap back. So maybe they could also bank on a caution early on if they do go a lap down. Exactly. Yeah, that's just this is just a whole. It's like a chess match. It's definitely <laughs> that's that's how to describe it. Restricted plays. It's a chess match. The fuel strategy, being in the right place at the right time. It's it's a chess match for sure. Yep. Yep. It sure is on that. Well, the longest thing about Talladega. Is the pacing? Yeah, it, this so. this track is is ugh, I don't like pacing. It's like uh, what is it? Pocono and Indianapolis. Yeah, <laughs> the, these these tracks where it's like the uh, the full pace laps, and especially here with the 65 mile an hour pace speed, it's uh definitely makes you think about a lot inside the cockpit for sure. About makes you really get inside your it really gets inside your head for the long pace lap, I should say. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, as we enter turn three here tonight at Talladega, pull those belts tied one more time here, folks, because we are going to go racing here this time. By We actually got the, the pace car out there here this evening instead of the pace truck. So um, they, they got that part right here this evening. Um, not to pick on the other admins. Uh, we'll get we'll, we'll get to the admins here tonight after they take the green. But as always, getting them going here, that pace car diving off to the safety of pit road. That sharp left turn will be coming up for that pace car here momentarily. It's going to be Michael Lackage Jr. in control here. As they get all bunched up and tightened up here, folks, get ready. The Rick Motet Cup Series about to get underway. Just waiting for the green flag. That is what we're waiting on. And the green flies. Puggity, puggity, puggity. We're racing here tonight. And what a checkup on that inside line already early on. Michael didn't go. Accents is doing what he said in the interview. He's going to go below that double line. You're going to see the 41 car coming off of turn number two. Going to slowly pull underneath the yellow line. Let the whole field go. Try and keep that car as safe as possible throughout the whole race. Definitely a strategy for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we, already, we are going to see him fall way, way back into 15th, 16th. As Tyler Holman takes the lead out of turn number four. Uh, I think Tyler may be able to edge out that 56 on the outside of Kristen DeBoer across the stripe. But these guys are screaming at 197 miles an hour, Elvis. That's fast. <laughs> Get scary fast. I'm not going to – I don't want to be super scary, but I, it looks like I'm looking at the back of uh... – 
a couple of cars here, and we already got some rear end damage showing. I don't think it's going to affect them too badly, but got to watch out for these bump drops tonight because they are going to be brutal. And especially for the car pushing with some of these Camaros and some of the other cars, the bumper hook is a factor. If you guys do not know what that is, for some reason, if you hit a car too far on either side, it just hooks the car for no complete reason. So I, we're going to definitely have to watch out for that tonight. going to have to be super, super careful on the pushing. The all dreadful bumper hooks. <laughs> oh, we oh, hate them. Those, they're scary. Well, Tyler Hallman going to lead the second lap here as well. Edging out again, Christian DeBoer. Christian's got Vroom Vroom, though, behind him of Nicholas Vroom. And, yeah, talking about that number 99 machine of Rob Haynes. Yes, that rear end damage, you know, he's – I don't, I don't know if it'll affect him too bad like he was talking about, Elvis. It's it's not significant, but it is noticeable. For sure it's noticeable, and if he doesn't take tires, I believe it repairs it pretty pretty simply. So I, I don't think that'll be an issue for him for sure. No. Nope. Two Jeez. by two for about ten rows here on lap three. Man, this is, this nope. is three impressive. Wide. 34. Oh, three wide. Dalton Cowden. Yep. 34, jumping to the outside, three wide, about five rows back. Still, your leader is the number 52 of Tyler Hallman. Led every lap so far. Oh, maybe that's his try to just lead everyone nice and smooth, calm, consistent. Like everybody settling in. It looks looks that way. What speeds? 202. From what I just seen by Todd Cray. Yeah, deep in the draft, you're going to see Ugh. those guys going really fast. But if you're going faster, especially in the draft, your engine is getting hotter. So these guys got to watch out for the engine temps. I've done a, I've done a couple AI races, and I've had the problems of just blowing up because it's just sitting in behind cars too long. So they're going to have to definitely manage that tonight for sure, and especially 100 laps. Yeah, yeah, managing your temps for sure is going to be key. You know, we've seen it in the trucks, and we also seen it in the Xfinity series. Um, the Xfinity really more more of it. Whoa, as we have a driver another, another up outside front. Lane jump, guys. We have a new leader. Yes, and we do. He's also jumping to the outside. He got an outside row. About oh, get nice. Be a lot more lined up than the inside row, though. We're going to see. Is They're the getting... 52 going to be able to clear that number 56 of yeah, Christian he did. DeBoer? He and he did. does easily. Yep. Easily clears. Man, he's gonna lead another, the 52 is going to lead another lap. Oh, wait. Oh, no, wait. Here's the 23. No, Who stole no, it? I'm sorry. Curse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tyler, I apologize. And Garrett Heath leads the lap. Tyler, I apologize. I'm, I'm not going to not gonna do that again. Not going to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, all right. Well, as they race oh, it up. Oh, on the back. Oh, the six spinning, and the, nobody hits oh, him. Wow. Jacob Lee. And Well, you yelled out the number, so I was able to find him pretty quickly. First caution of the evening. Well, let's take a look at what happened to the 26 here of Jacob Lee. Now, he's on the inside. So. Oh, it's, it's the... Uh... I just looked at it, and it looks to be the dreaded bumper hook, or at least from a, a Camaro, by the number 02 okay, of well, Timothy Zayas. Zaz. Zayas? Zayas, yep. Zayas. Oh, yep, right there it was. Yep, we seen it. As they exited turn number two, yeah, right there. The 26 goes around. He's trying to lock it down and not come back up on the track, but you're going close to 200 miles an hour. That's a little easier said than done. That is amazing that he that nobody hit him. <laughs> all, all these guys have amazing car control and awareness for what's around them because that that's a, a, a okay or even slightly worse official lobby than man, that's a big <laughs> one right there. Oh, yeah. Well, it's going to be on the... 02 here, looking at the penalty chart here tonight from the admins, Ed Morris, Patrick Moore, Bryce Sinisak.
At fault will be the 0-2. Contact with the 26 to EO Well. Uh, of course, we seen it 0 2 into the back of the 26 here. That was kind of, uh, you know, even though I do get the all, the all that from the admins, that that was a little obvious. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it. I don't know if it was a lane checkup or what, but I, it definitely looked like he completely just ran him. Are we going to see a couple cars pit lap seven? No, get, yeah. Strategy. And the 23 comes, the 93 comes, the 52 stays out. Interesting strategy there. Did anybody else stay out? It looks like the 52 and everybody behind him came in. So the 52 on it's maybe a little only... bit of a different strategy. But again, yeah. we're going to have to see how everything plays out. Is anybody really looking like they're going to take tires? No, it looks like it's going to be fuel only for everybody. And it's going to be a race off pit road between oh. the 23 and the 95. And the 95 wins race off pit road. Going to be outside front row. Seven more laps of fuel. Then that 52 who's going to be your current leader. I definitely want to be the 95 right now for sure, not the 52. Having that extra seven laps, that's going to help you later in the run. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Vroom Vroom is the first one off of Pit Row. Garrett Heath, DeBoer, Sterling, and Jacob Bell going to round out the top five off of Pit Row. Now, I did want to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get our first interview in here real quick. Uh, if I can find him, I know he's in here somewhere. Oh yeah, my he... gosh, Vroom Vroom is a legend. He hit the cone. <laughs> Rip yes. cone. Yes. All right, our first interview here tonight is going to be a Jacob Bell of the number 77 machine. Jacob, got a copy? Yes, sir. How you doing tonight? Well, I'm doing all right. It wasn't at the start, trust me. Yeah, there's some major technical issues, but we got it all figured out and worked out. And with the help of Lil King up here, he talked me into... Talk me into how to do it, but uh, early caution here tonight in the cup cars, man. You guys are pushing 202, 204 miles an hour, and the old rifle bumper hook strikes again. But you're up here from 15th in sixth. Looks like only some fuel uh, that time. Uh, so some strategy calling here with the no, you know no tires. Uh, but you wasn't the only one either. So not like I'm giving away any secrets right now. Um, but man, how, how's it going for you early on? Yeah, so far so good. Um, car's a lot faster right now than it was in qualifying because I think we had some issues with the throttle um, input, so I think I fixed that and uh, feels fast now. So just kind of going to see where it plays out and how it goes. I didn't really expect a lot of cautions tonight, so that's already one that I didn't see coming, but I think it's going to be a, a lot of green flag laps tonight, a lot of hard battling and uh, a, good, a good field, so I'm looking forward to how this thing plays out, and hopefully we get this uh, pink 77 to victory lane. Well, yeah, different kind of paint here tonight. Of course, I see Lodgebox 77, of course, on the side, but uh, you're doing something. Talk about it real quick. Yeah, we're working with the uh, Florida Breast Cancer Foundation. As everybody knows, October is, you know, Cancer Awareness Month, uh, you know, outside of breast cancer even. And in my family alone, we've had a lot of cases of cancer, so I wanted to figure out a way I could help. And to do that, uh, I decided to come up with a fundraiser this month where um, anybody who donates to this Florida Breast Cancer Foundation uh, gets their name on the deck lid of the car. So I got a lot of names riding with me tonight, so it adds a little bit of pressure for me. But more importantly, it's raising money for a good cause, and uh, breast cancer is you know, something that impacts, I think I saw a statistic, one in eight women in their lifetime will be affected by breast cancer. So it's definitely something I'm thinking of. And... Uh, Initial goal was only $77, and we're already up past 400 So it's going good, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the month with it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Great, great cause as well. Uh, don't wish uh, cancer upon anybody. But you guys are double file, ready to go back green flag racing here on the back stretch. Jacob, good luck out there, buddy. It ain't over. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Have a good one. Uh -huh. Yeah, good luck, Jacob. Thank you. All right, getting back down there. Well, uh, for a good cause. That's, that's yes. the most important thing. For yes. Sure. For a good cause, for sure. Well, I'm going to turn it over to Elvis since he's doing a one heck of a job here tonight. Figured the nerves would get to him, but uh, it ain't bothering him any, I don't think. So, Elvis, man, get him going, bud. Yeah, for sure. We're going to have to see a good restart here. All two by two headed into turn three. We're going to definitely see how everybody's going to do. They're all on these seven-lap old tires. Again, tires probably not going to be an issue. But they're going to be an issue for one thing for sure, and that's the restarts. You don't want to spin them up for sure. You want to be nice and patient on the power. I'm just looking through the field here, and it looks like that 
still, again, lap nine, not really a big problem if you're in uh, 27th or if you're in first. It, it could flip in one lap for sure. So, whereas we're going to see the pace car pull off and the most agitating part besides the pace lap at this track, waiting to go in the restart zone. Going to back up the field here, the 52. Get him a little bit slow down. Vrooman almost drives into the door of the 52 there. A little interesting. Waiting on the 52. Still waiting. And there it is. Green flag in the air. The 52 takes off. And the 23 of Garrett Heath. He gets a great restart from the inside there. Vroom from Roman. He's going to try and pull into the inside and go to that inside line. Can he do it? No. Stuck on the outside with no help. Garrett Heath's going to come up to the top side with Roman. And it looks like the 56 there. He's going to stay on the bottom. Now it looks like Jacob Bell in the uh, breast cancer awareness car, number 77. He is going to try and stay up on the top side with Roman. Going to give him a nice little push. You got two cars top lane. Going to need a lot more to get it going, though. Apparently not as Roman and the 77 of Jacob Bell are flying. And so is the <laughs> 21 right behind them of Todd Cray. And here they come. The top lane already forming up. Oh, my gosh. And Roman to the lead. Is he going to be able to lead the lap? Jacob Bell and him almost slide to the inside. And Roman's going to lead the lap, I'm pretty sure. Yep, Roman did lead that lap, it looks like. Uh, Jacob Bell yep, still has yet to lead a lap, but I've got Jacob in first. Al Vroom Vroom back to first. Bull up front as we seen that line just really start to come together. And it didn't take Jacob Bell and company on that, on that outside line long to get up here. Todd Cray also making his moves up to the front from 21st on that high line. Another big mover out here. Dalton Cowden from 20th to 6th. So, yes, that, that took him, what, about a lap to get formed up? Now we're going to get some good side-by-side -side race, I'm sure. But, yeah, you can start 27th, you can start 1st. And in 10, 15 laps, you could go anywhere. You could go all the way from 1st to 27th, or vice versa, 27th to 1st. And it's definitely an exciting, again, it's a chess match. But right now, if I was playing the chess match, I'd look, want to be about where my pick is of so of GT Hawkins. As the 23 is on below the yellow, yep. the double yellow line. I think he got forced down there a little bit. That's Garrett Heath in the 23. He's backing up. I do not know if that was a strategy or what that was. He's rejoining into turn three. Like I said, fourth place, and he's going to be pretty deep in the... He's going to be in the 20s. He's around... Right first. in front of him would be the 10 car. Yeah, uh, Garrett Heath. Now Gary 21st. May. They're gonna, let's see if they can get this inside line formed back up. That was definitely scary there for Garrett Heath. And way in the back here, I think he is playing a good strategy game. M. Scott List Rambler, your pick. Is he saving a little bit of fuel to try and stretch that magic number that we have? Well, he could be. So far? 26 to 30. Go ahead, Josh. Yeah, he could be saving, but, you know, a lot of other drivers out here, too probably save it as well the only driver that's been out here longer than anybody else is the number 52 of tyler hallman now he is going to save a little bit of fuel being behind nicholas vroman nicholas up front is going to be using the most fuel Guillaume and i believe the 21 of todd cray who's on the outside line but hey as i mentioned it here's the 52 he is going to shoot high in front of that number 21. but todd cray just leaves it and he's going to go three wide and Todd Cray sees the push, but he says, no, nope, thank you very much. And I want to take, try and take the lead. He's just going to leave the 52 hanging. And he's going to try and slide down, but he can't. He's not clear. And now he's going to try and slide. Oh, we got to see four wide. Yes, he can. Plenty of space now there for him now. I'm just waiting for the four wide, Elvis. Oh, trust me, it's coming. It is coming. And here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> well. <laughs> Jacob Bell almost Whoa. made it four wide, but we, we, we were close, but no cigar. We're three wide, though. There's still three. Yep. 34 falling back. I think that's by design. Or something. Now he's, trying to, he's trying to back on up. Yeah, I that's how most of this restrictor placing is, is you could say, I'm going to be up front, and you get spooked once, and you drop straight to the back because you do not want to get wrecked. 
Yeah, he's right here with the teammate, Dalton County. He's got the eight of Paul Irvin behind him. And that line that I'm looking at right now is, is in the inside line, third, fourth, and fifth, the three, the 27, and the 14. All teammates for, I believe, GT Motorsports. Yes, for GT Motorsports, you got GT Hawkins in that line in the 14. You also have in the 27, you have Darren Bruce. And then the three, there's John Sterling. Those three guys are going to be a threat for sure, especially teammates that are strict to play when you have them all lined up. Yes. They're def it's definitely a threat. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, you know, any time you have teammates there, you know, whether it be two, three, or in this case, four, uh, there's four drivers per team out here racing for points. So, man, if all four of you get hooked up, right now we got three uh, for anybody, I mean, it, it could be, it could be a, a really a handful for the other teams that really don't, are not around their teammates. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I think their only other teammate that's not in that line is M. Scottless Ramo, and he's in the, he's in the back a little bit. He's just saving some fuel. He's hanging out in that second pack, just playing it safe. Where a couple of these guys are still too wide. They've been too wide for pretty much the entire race. It's impressive how. Effortlessly, everybody is holding their line. No, no big checkups. No, none of that. So that's super impressive. And Jacob Bell, he's he's looking hungry for the lead here in that 77. Yes, he is. He is I, I on the he's outside. Gonna, I think he's gonna split if he can. Ooh, not quite. There was a space, but not enough. He's gonna try and push the 52. Northern Capital truck Don't. or car. What truck? Okay. <laughs> Still thinking I'm in the truck series. <laughs> Don't look now. But back here with a 34 of Dalton Cowden and the oh, eight. God. They're making some moves here on that outside line. Uh, oh, they're, they're gonna block is here going. Come. Here, comes, oh. here comes Todd Cray in the 32 car. And the 32 just leaves Ty Cray hanging. Oh, that is definitely the worst feeling in a strict place race. <laughs> but he, if he can, look who's behind Todd Cray. Two GT... R simulator. I do not know what team that is, uh, but GTR there's two drivers right there. And as you can see, now they have three drivers from ECM, I believe. Yep, ECM. Right? Is that ECM, Josh? Or uh, you're talking about uh, Todd Crane Company, correct? Darren Clement. No, the uh, the 32, the 34, and the eight. 32 they is have Darren. The GTRs on the side. Uh, that is. Uh, ECM, East Coast Motor. ECM, okay. Yes. Sorry, sorry, ECM, first time. So, but anyway, hey. we have three of those four ECM cars all in a line on that third groove. Yep. So they're gonna also be a threat along with GT Motorsports' cars, which I did not know if they are still in the line. I've not checked in a couple laps. No, most of them still are. They're they're the same as that top groove. Three out of four are all in a line. And in the same formation, pretty much. But whoa, Jacob Bell to the bottom. Oh, wait Dropping a minute. back, maybe you've a little gotta, bit here. And look got... at the push on the outside, fully outside. The 32 takes the lead. Todd Cray, fully up top, still side by side for the race lead. The three car, I do not know. The, the three, three car, is John Sterling. John Sterling was shoving Nicholas Roman. So hard down the back straight, trying to keep that lead, but it's not going to be enough. It's going to be the 32 of Darlin Clement that's going to lead that lap. Uh, Darren Clement. Darren, okay. Hey. I apologize for everybody's names that I'm butchering tonight. <laughs> it's all right. I apologize. You should have heard me the uh, first I'm, time. I'm you so sorry. You should have heard me the first time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I was right. the same way. Vroom, 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 vroom. To the middle. Leave yep. that middle lane with the three car pushing him very, very heavily. They're going to leapfrog that 32 easily. No pressure. Now we're getting three wide up at the front. Now everybody's going to make some moves, getting comfortable making moves. going to look a little bit deeper here in the field. We've got two by two in this backpack section just trying to keep their cars alive i would say that would be their strategy and then we got up front here we got three wide and nearly four at one point but they're still hanging on now they're single filing out going they're... single file yep up front 
They are indeed just. Well, keep going so if you want to. to watch. You want to keep talking, man? I'm just, I'm just gonna let you go. <laughs> You're giving me a break. Saving your voice. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the the outside line was uh doing really good with their, the very very top Todd Cray, and a couple other cars. They were forming that top lane, and one of those was the 32 car of uh, Clement, and he, they just got that top lane rolling. They're going to try and do it again. Yeah, I'm watching but it. We're watching it here. We're try I'm trying to keep up with you, Elvis. You're like me. <laughs> so, You're everywhere, man. See, they're so. going to do it again. I mean, the top groove seems to be the place to be for that last lap shootout because that top lane just gets such a run out of turn two, and that bottom lane just can't knock a beat, and they're holding okay in the corner, actually, which is where I honestly thought they'd be weak. Well, we've seen it for the past couple of nights here. Well, the past three nights, that high line just out of the corner, it's the quickest. But into the corner, you you lose that 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 momentum, that steam. So, you know, exactly. I can see that high line being a big factor coming down to the end of the race, especially when you're going to go through when you're three wide coming down to under ten to go, and nobody is wanting to give you know a, a millimeter there. So uh, we're seeing it right now with that high line playing a good factor, but it's, you know, like, like I said, the corners are not being friendly. Yeah, for sure. They're definitely not being friendly to that top groove, but on the straightaway, you saw the, the third groove, Todd Cray and the 32 did it earlier in the race, and they just flew by everyone like it was no problem on the straightaway, but in the corners, it was definitely a struggle for them, and that's a scary place to be for sure at Talladega. Well, again, two by two, lap 23, coming to lap 24. Only had one caution so far this evening on lap seven. Every single car has came down pit road except that 52, which right now, if I was that 52 car, I'd be regretting that strategy. Because no caution, and he is just, he needs one pretty badly or else he's gonna have to pit by himself and that is a recipe for disaster yo yeah for sure uh you do not want to come down by yourself looks like if we have our estimate correct he can pit within two laps or he can go another six so he needs a caution now or fast because he he's gonna need one in approximately six laps well the question Unless is saving a monster yeah. of fuel yeah, you know, that's another thing we need to bring up. You know, has Tyler been saving, you know, enough j just to get by? Yeah, that's that's really a hard question to even answer right now because he was up front for eight laps. Yeah, for sure. I'm, gonna, I'm looking at our defending champion here of Mike Rominger in the nine car. He's just been hanging out at the back for the entire race. Right now sitting 25th place, but don't let that fool you. He's the defending champion for a reason. He is going to, in that last, next, that last 20 laps, he's going to make a charge, and you know it. So he's just, he's right now in survival mode, and then once once he flips the switch, he's ready to go. Back up at the front, Nicholas Roman still leading the way with that three car of John Sterling, then glued to his back bumper for the last, I don't even know how many laps. That outside groove led by the 32 car... Darren Clement, yep. Yep, Clement leading the top groove with Todd Cray right behind. I don't know. I've seen these guys been trying to do this for the past three laps. It's not been working for them so far, but they 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 can just get one one bobble up in that bottom lane, and they are right they're right there, and they're gonna capitalize for sure. No oh question. yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Well, I'm going back here to kind of the mid pack because you know not only do we got the front to deal with. But we've got all the other drivers back here, too. And, of course, Rob Haynes had that damage early on. It looks like he's got most of it, if not all of it, fixed. Running back here in 14th, Gary May, Jacob Bell, David Weishart, Timothy Zayas, Garrett D. Grant. All right here, that's the top 19. Uh, Scott Rambler in 20th. Travis McDaniel in 21st. Michael Atkins Jr., our pole sitter, fell all the way back. Currently running in 22nd, Michael Thwaites, Richie Evans, Mike Rominger, Christian DeBoer, and Nick Hunt running out the field. And everybody is still on the lead lap. 
And that's definitely impressive because these guys, I mean, if they get one one kind of wreck, somebody can damage their car and they, they're they're pretty much down. Now, there's two cars I'm looking at right now that are outside of the top 10 on the last recorded lap that I have seen almost one of them lead a lap and the other one lead a lap. I'm look, I'm talking about the number 23 of Garrett Heath and the number 77 of Jacob Felt. That's how fast you can go from way up front to way mid-pack or to the back. But these guys, I think they're playing the strategy game now as well, saving a little bit of fuel. We'll have to see how their strategy plays out later in the race. Oh, yeah. We, you know, we, we still got more than halfway to go. We are over a quarter of the way here tonight. Uh, so, you know, we are winding down the laps. A little bit of a hiccup there at the beginning. Uh, with that one caution, but, uh, you, you know, it, it is what it is. I think these these drivers now are trying to get it, you know, have got it figured out to the most part, um, trying to stay within a distance of one another, not to blow the engines, not to bumper hook somebody, you know, just trying to really wind down the laps because they know 100 laps here at Talladega, it's kind of like racing 200 at Pocono. And there is the signal I have just received. The 52 gutted. He has to pit this lap. Oh, oh that's going to be frustrating. But he has one company car. I believe the 69 is as well going to pit this lap. They're going to have to make that emergency halt on pit road. A couple of cars are actually signaling now. We got four cars that have signaled. They're coming down pit road. Obviously, in real life, you have the hand out the window in iRacing. The voice or the text chat is the uh, preferred method. Yeah, well, as we see Tyler Hallman coming down pit road, bringing a group with him. Rob Haynes, David Weishart, Travis McDaniel, and Garrett D. Grant. So he is not going to come down alone. Uh, he is going to come down here with some help and to stay within that draft. And, of course, the 99 of Rob Haynes, coming down with the northern capital guys as well so he will also have some help you know maybe these these guys can really get hooked up and work to working together and uh, it looks like they're all going to come off of pit road at the same time yeah for sure the only thing that i'd say that that's a little confusing is i know these guys are all teammates and they're going to get it all situated out here and they're going to try and get a four pack draft going and try and be faster than that lead pack but my question is, is three of the four cars in that pack, actually four of the five since there's uh, the Rob 99 Haynes, in that yeah. pack of Rob Haynes, all four, four of the five cars in that pack have <laughs> oh, The Northern Capital guy is going to go around the 99. Yeah, they're, they're going to work. They, they don't want the 99 leading for sure. If I was a team, they were a team. They don't want him leading. They're going to stay up high until that 24 clears. They're going to all be clear, and they're all going to come down here. And now, as you can see, the 52 being super physical, and he has the Camaro nose. He's got to be super careful about the bumper hook here, as you can see. The 69, they're going to be doing a little bit of a slingshot technique. And if you could do it, guys in chat do not know what the slingshot technique is. It's basically the car behind the... Uh, the lead car and pack they're gonna try and give all their might but then once that third car in line gets the run second car in line is gonna pull out of the way they're gonna let every car use that run that they have we're gonna see if the 69 uses the technique i don't think the 24 has a big enough run we're gonna see if they are gonna use that the next couple of laps to see if they can get a little bit extra time gained but right now they they are way way back going. they are they now, if I was the Northern Capital team, a caution, eh, it would be okay, but it, it would kind of not be okay because these guys, they they need to catch back up to the lead pack. Last lap time for these guys, these guys are flying right now. 47.9 <laughs> for the 24, who was the fastest in that train compared to where we're looking at the leaders, 48 flats. So they are on the same pace as those leaders. The question is, how long can they hold it? And will it be enough to try and regain the lead? As you can see, 69 pulling out for the slingshot technique. Okay. Yep, a little bit of a slingshot action going on, but I'm going to go back up to the to up front here with this lead pack with Vroom Vroom and company, Elvis. 
John Sterling, Darren Clement, Darren Bruce, Todd Cray, top five, of course. There, this is that lead pack of cars. This is that group. Yeah, for sure. And and these guys, I'm 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 actually not mistaken here, but actually the Northern Capital guys are looking like geniuses because right now those Northern Capital trucks or cars are running half a second a lap faster than the lead pack at the moment. So this is definitely the big strategy game here. And if these Northern Capital cars can stretch out even a second lead and keep the pace they're running, that's huge at Talladega. All right. Well, we are starting to get a little bit single file here on the inside as they have been out here for about 27 laps. This will be 28 laps this time by. They will be within, or they are within uh, that uh, pit stop here. So the question is, Elvis, really, who, who's going to be the first group to come down? It looks like the 95 called his pit entry. It looks like this might be the gaggle that's going to come down. Those two top cars on the top groove of the 18 or 17, I believe now. Uh, the, of Casey uh, Duncan. Yes, uh, I'm correct. Casey yeah, Duncan. 18 the on the car. Of Jacob Lee. They are pushing hard on that outside. They cannot pit. They got to be patient because they are in that top group. Yep. So they need to either file in line or they need to just hope that everybody comes down. And here, here, here we go. Roman and who's going to come down with Roman? Oh, uh, there's several. Roman. There's, there's a Elliot. There's about a 15 car pack. Three wide on, back on a pit road here. Now, I did want to mention, now, KC Duncan has the 18 on the car, but 17 in the driver bar. So, a okay, so little bit of a hiccup there. Confusion. Yeah, it's all right. It happens. And it looks like I, the three GT Motorsports team cars are out in the front right now. And out of that bottom five cars, four of them are GTM cars, and they are going to all pit this time by, no question. That extra little oh, lap is going to help their fuel mileage so much. Here comes everybody down on pit road. Casey well, Duncan. What happened to Casey? Oh, he doesn't get it slowed down. That has got to be unfortunate. Yeah. Does he have enough fuel? That is going to hurt, though. That Does he have enough fuel? Oh. That's the main question. The main big gaggle of cars that came by last time by, they are all already on to the back straightaway. And if we look a little bit ahead of those cars, the four Northern Capital cars and the 99 car are all about a second and a half. Two, they're about three seconds in front, three and a half seconds in front of Todd Cray and pulling massively. So those Northern Capital guys, they are looking like the smartest guys in the server right now with that strategy. <laughs> and here they go by every single other car. Just easily. Now those Northern Capital cars reminds me of a race from uh, I believe 2018 or 19 I believe where the four Stuart Haas cars they just stretched out like massively. And this is a reminder for sure with these Northern Capital cars still doing the slingshot technique trying to increase their lead. Man these guys are these guys are good to watch. Well oh, and this this actually kind of benefits of Rob Haynes here too. Not part of Samson Motorsports with these Northern Capital guys, but man, he is sticking like glue with these guys, and he is not backing down. KC Duncan did manage to get around and get on pit road. Man, that's definitely good for KC Duncan because, I mean, he lost a lot of time from that. He's probably, he, already, he probably lost the lead pack, but... The main thing is, is he just cannot go a lap down at the moment. He's about half a lap behind or so. He's just got to hope for a caution and keep that thing on the lead lap. But right now, the Northern Capital guys and the Samson Motorsport guys, they are hoping for the complete opposite. Those guys are like no cautions for the rest of the 60 laps to come. 62. Now, back in the main pack here, a little bit behind, you're going to see these these other cars are going to start to single file out. 
as these guys are now going to just say, all right, we let these four guys get away, head down. As you can see, everybody is now yes. pushing, working together, trying to catch those Northern Capital, Samson Motorsport, and the 99 of Rob Haynes' machines. I'm sitting right here with Nicholas Vroom Vroom Vroman, David Elliott, Todd Cray, Paul Irvin, Scott Rambler, John Sterling, GT Hawkins, and it just keeps going on. Garrett Heath, Jacob Bell, Darren Bruce, Nick Hunt. Uh, there's Nick out here again. The start at 23rd. He's currently running in 16th. Our last night's a winner uh, had GT Hawkins behind him pushing him because GT just had nowhere to go and, you know, help push Nick to the victory last night. GT's right up ahead of uh, Nick Hunt right now. They got Gary May, Michael Thwaites, Timothy Zayas, and Derek Clement rounding out the top 20 here. And, of course, we still got the full 17 drivers on the lead lap, but Casey Duncan all by his lonesome. No help. Nobody around him. He is going to get eight up if he does not get a caution right now to get – bunched back up with these guys i believe he's on pit road josh i don't know if my uh thing is glitching out nope it's just glitching out for me he's not on pit road sorry false alarm he's on the back straight road. just all by himself like you said just so much slower than if you have that draft that shows how big the draft here is especially at talladega now i'm gonna i'm gonna move off a little bit of uh casey duncan here. i'm gonna talk about josh's pick tonight scott ramler i've been watching this guy all night <laughs> he's been in the 20s in the high in the low the high tens and he is now just slingshotted his way up to 10th and i know that might not sound like a lot but he he is a force to be reckoned with and here he goes to the outside gonna start making it too wide now that's gotta hurt these cars that are trying to catch those northern capital cars for sure oh yeah yep and we're gonna go double file here with scott rambler on the outside john sterling that second group this this here group right here the three they... car has been the dominant pusher all night i've seen this guy been pushing like crazy it's impressive because he i don't know how he's not blown up for how much i've seen him push a little bit of a slide there. Rambler saves it. Looks to be. Rambler's going to shoot his way all the way up to, I believe, sixth if he can clear himself and come down below Nicholas Roman. And this is the first time in a about 10, 15 laps I've seen Roman lose the lead in this bigger second pack. It's still not over, though. Well, it's still not over. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's, he's still trying. But... Up at the front, as I can get a little bit of live timing here, it looks to be that these Northern Capital Cars' fastest driver on that last lap from that pack is, is the number 24 of Garrett Grant. He hit a 48.1. And then the fastest top five-ish guy from that second pack is going to be Scott Rambler with a 48.183. So they are pretty much dead even, giving it a little bit of a hand to the Northern Capital group up there in front. Those five cars working effortlessly so good together. Yes. But if this, they, if they, they're just praying, no caution for the rest of the race, trying to lock out the top four Northern Capital spots. And I'm not going to lie, I was questioning their strategy about all their cars pitting in early. Uh, I, I take back all that. Um, strategy was good the only thing is is if any of these guys in this main pack can save approximately if we go by our fuel window three laps of fuel they will be able to make it the whole race without having to do that one extra stop that the northern capital cars in front might have to do Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, I'm sitting up here on Rob Haynes, kind of on a – I was on a chase view, and I turned the camera because I want to look back behind Rob Haynes in this Northern Capital group, and you can see sixth on back. They're coming. They've gained the ground. You see there, back in the main pack, Scott Rambler. He has cleared himself in front of Nicholas Roman, just leaves Todd Cray hanging. 
in the number 57. He's gonna resume the, he's gonna take the lead from that second pack. Let's see if Scott can put together a smooth, consistent line and see if he can catch on the last lap pace. Looks like it's gonna be the same thing again as what I checked in earlier. There's all the same pace. It's dead even between all of these cars. But again, it is Talladega, so you Yeah, know. yeah. <laughs> uh, see, I see different fuel strategies for sure out here. Of course, he was talking about that with, a, with the Northern Capital guys and Rob Haynes. You know, they've been out here now uh, 16 laps. We've got some drivers been out here at about nine laps. 10 laps, so about a lap difference between them two. Another driver's been out here. Well, KC unfortunately missing his, missing the uh, the pit road there, so eight laps for him. He's still on the lead lap. So I, I could foresee, you know, it being a fuel strategy here. It won't be much of a tire as they're going to go three wide again back here with uh, John Sterling, the 21 of Todd Cray, the 42 of the eight on that inside line. 21's just going to get dumped. Right on that mid line. Oh, He's man. not he going <laughs> to. He just caught rejected him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, it looks like the 34 car there. He's going to try and help out Todd Cray a little bit. And it looks like well, somebody's going to come another. Here comes the A to Paul Irvin, too. I all think the these ECM drivers. Now yeah. That mid -group, but I'm going to say right now. They're all teammates. Yeah, all teammates. But that I'm looking again at those GTM guys. They all went 30 laps on that first stint. They all went the 37 laps, pardon me. Can they stretch it out and one of their guys can make it on fuel? I think one of their cars can do it. The question is, is which one? Well, let's see here. Uh, let's kind of take a look here at the timing screen. Right now, I don't foresee any of them. Uh, they're all they're all there. They're, Todd, Cri uh, sorry. Whoa, I racing like just uh, did a hiccup on me. Did it freeze for you? No, it didn't freeze for me. Oh, okay. Looks like the uh, GT Hawkins in 15. He is he's a little deep in that mid pack. Still looks okay though. His teammate of John Sterling in the three car. He is up in 12th. And then I believe Scott Ramler, another one of their teammates, I believe for. GTM, he is up in eighth. And then, I'm gonna be honest, I do not know who their fourth driver is. Uh, let me see here. For GT, we've got John Sterling, Scott Rambler, of course, GT Hawkins. And I wanna say for points, cause there's five, I think there, well, there's five in the race, but there's only four that can vow that can race for the cup points. I want right. to say it might be Garrett Heath, but I could be wrong. It could be Darren Bruce. I, I believe I believe you're right on that one. I believe you're right on that one, Josh. Because I, I think don't I was told have before who that. Who those is, guys. Yep, I believe it is Garrett. Heath. <laughs> I don't All have right, access to that yet. The mystery, so mystery solved. We're good. Garrett Heath, he's sitting in twentieth place, a little deep. I don't know any of the four guys. They're they're deep enough in the field where they're getting enough draft and they're saving fuel. The question is, who's going to do the best at saving the fuel? Well, as we come uh, to lap number fifty, after well, yeah, as it updates to there, Travis McDaniel and the Samson Motorsports and Northern Capital Machines, aside from Rob Haynes. You know, hey, look look at this. Look at this. Right behind them now is KC Duncan. Now, he is a lap down, but he's up here with the leaders. Yeah, I believe so. And I believe we're going to have maybe another car join that pack. I believe the 56 of Christopher DeBoer, he lost that second pack, and he is heading to turn one. Yep, he's all by himself right now. He couldn't be in the exact same boat as KC Duncan in, oh, maybe about 10 laps. Unless he gets a caution, it's it's a definitely a, a strategy what? game. But these Northern Capital guys working effortlessly, oh yeah, slingshotting yeah. to perfection. Man, these right. guys are in sync. And right now, two people looking for a caution: Christian DeBoer and KC Duncan. These two looking for a caution. Christian looking for it not to go a lap down. 
And KC Duncan looking for it. I think the entire pack's looking for one. <laughs> uh, I, no, I, I think... Everybody's looking for one except those front five. They are just so far out, and they're just... Man. They're doing an excellent job that I don't think that... If we don't get a caution for the rest of the race, then, yeah, they're going to be in trouble. But they need to get, like, stay in this rhythm, and then late, they need one. Oh, yeah, but, for sure. Well, right now, they're not right, getting right nothing. Right at the moment, they're happy where they are. They're drafting effortlessly. They're saving maybe a bit of fuel. But these guys, excellent strategy call from all these guys. I believe right. they're actually pulling away. Oh, oh we got a run. Here we go. We're it. Oh, no. Jacob Lee involved in that, but I believe it might have started with champion. John Sterling. Last year's champion involved. Oh. Looks like a little bit of nose damage for right Mike Ronaker in the nine car. Rick Evans involved. Jacob Lee front end totaled on that car. No, we're going to go back here and take a look at it, Elvis. I know you're going to take a look at it, too. Uh, but, you know, I, you, the Max Speed TV replay. So, you know, yeah, we're, we're exactly. going to see oh. it happen. So, what? No. Uh, I'm on John Sterling here in the number three. He's going to the outside of the 21. And, oh, yeah, I believe that right there is where it initiated between the 21 and the three, and it was just kind of on from there. Three hits the wall, down into the 26, 26 into the two, and bam! Hard lick by the 26 into the wall. And I then right here. I believe that's a little bit of a, I, I believe you guys call it hammy action, a little bit of neck coat, but the reverse <laughs> way. I believe the three went inside the 21, and then it was just a chain reaction. A lot of cars involved on that. The 26 yep. involved the 9. Oh, man. And, man, 26, the 9, I believe the 29 missed it, but barely. The 02 looks to be a little bit involved, maybe. Man. Yep, a lot of drivers Tough involved. Break for those yep. Northern Capital Yo, guys. Oh, yeah, they were running their away with it. disintegrated at their fingertips, and they got to come down pit road here. Yes, Pit I, Road, I, I believe is going to be open this time. What are we going to see? Well, I don't know what we're going to see, but I do know we got to get some commercials in and pay some bills here. So we're going to be right back here, folks. Don't go anywhere, man. We still got oh, we still got the rest of the race to go.
Howdy, folks. Back live here on Max B TV. Of course, we were live. We were just uh, playing, playing the commercials there and letting everybody get, you know, down pit road and back onto the track here. We're not going to be able to do any interviews here this time by, but we, of course, do have that, that crank it up cam that everybody is, you know, wanting uh, for sure. So as they are going to get double file here, the all dreadful no pacing, but after the pit, pits have happened here, it's going to be Dalton Cowden, David Elliott, Rob Haynes, GT Hawkins, and Jacob Bell going to round out the top five. Tyler Hallman, Travis McDaniel, Nick Hunt, Garrett D. Grant and David Weishart going to round out your top 10 here as they keep switching back and forth on me. But on the back stretch here of this 2.66 mile track of Talladega, the Rickmo Tech Cup Series season opener here presented by Max Speed TV. Myself, Joshua Medlock, Elvis Little King Rankin up here in the booth with me tonight i know elvis doing a lot of talking here i am cool with it like i said before it kind of it does give my voice a rest uh so i, I do you're gonna need it, you're gonna need it. <laughs> uh yeah probably so uh we are gonna go ahead and get them going here we will let them make a lap uh because we don't know what's gonna happen on the fresh tires so we'll make them, let them make a lap maybe a lap and a half and then we'll, of course, try to crank it up here tonight for everybody. But turning out of turn, coming out of turn number four here, the pace car is going to dive off to the safety of Pitt Road. I believe David Elliott might be in control of the field here. He is on the outside. Or is it Dalton Cowden? It's either Dalton or David. It's one of the two here. Pace car it is on Dalton. Dalton, the all right. Control in the field. All right, Dalton coming down as this group comes down through the trioval here at Talladega. Coming to lap 56 here tonight. The green flag back out again here this evening. We are back underway here, folks. Yeah, green, green, green so far. Looks looks like a pretty clean restart. Couple cars moving down to the inside. Now, I know we cut away to commercial break our live race admins they took care of that last incident and it was resolved as a racing incident between the 21 and the 3 hey down the well, back straight away everyone just single filing out just getting the groove back now i think it's i think that's what they're trying to do and of course they're still trying to pick up speed as well they're still not at full speed i mean they are 190 well I, now that I say that, uh, <laughs> they're going to get full speed now out of turn number four. So they are already back up to full speed. Too wide here for the most part. Well, let's go ahead and do it here, folks. Let's crank it up here tonight on Max Speed TV. <laughs>
All righty, folks, back up live here. Hopefully everybody enjoyed the Crank It Up cam here this evening. While that was up, I know Elvis was paying close attention as he's been doing all night long here tonight at what is going on on the racetrack. It's good to have somebody that's very track aware up here, um, Elvis. So, you know, kind of go over, you know, what you've been watching under that Crank It Up, but. Yeah, for sure. I've been first off just after that big incident. I want to look at how many cars were on the lead lap. Looks like so far we got 23 cars on the lead lap. We got a 21 car lead pack. And I've been looking at it as well under the crank up with some movers and some shakers on the night. Nick Hunt, the winner from last night, started P23. Now he's P5. Oh. Very impressive crawl up through the field. Another one of those guys is the 34 who was con in control on that restart. He started in P20, now in P2. So a lot of big movers and shakers so far on the board. A couple of cars there towards the back have a, maybe a tiny bit of damage from that last wreck, but it doesn't look too bad. Looks like we still have a strong field. And we're on lap 61, so we should have about 39 more laps to go well, let's go ahead and take a look at that here real quick as rob haynes our leader up front did lead that lap as we go ahead and take a look at the caution count number here so far two cautions four three laps 39 laps to go 17 lead changes here so far here tonight lap 62 as we was just talking about that so elvis even though still plenty of laps left 39 laps at this huge huge track of talladega still yet anything can happen and of course these these drivers that have been making some moves here of course the nick hunt being one of them and several others coming from the back toward the front you know now it puts them really in in, in a in a catbird seat you know okay i'm up front now I've, I've ran back into the back you know pretty much the whole race i found myself up here now what do I need to do at this point? You know, you can always, of course, as well, bank on another caution, but not hope for it. You can't, you still can't make it to the end. You, you'll still have to come down pit road at least one more time. Right, yeah. One more stop mandatory for all drivers. Now the, the strategy is pretty simple. The window will be much larger because they only have to fuel for nine more laps. Let's see who does the strategy. Does their splash and dash or let's see if they get a caution, see who's taking tires or what they're all going to do. All right, as they come around the three of John Sterling to put Sterling a lap down. So he will be the first driver one lap down. Gary May, the last driver on the lead lap of the number 10 back here at the 22nd after starting 13th. Gary May not having the race he wanted here tonight. Back here in 21st will be Garrett Christian DeBoer in the 56. He has led one lap, but, you know, uh, he, he's still up here. He's up here in his front pack. He's the last one at the end of this of this lead pack. Yeah, for sure. He's they're all doing a good job. They're just keeping it nice and straight and smooth. But, again, Talladega, the racing is not going to get three, four wide, and everybody's going to start really going for it until about maybe 20 to even 10 laps to go. We should see that. And that's when it's going to get really exciting here. Well, it's been an exciting race here tonight. I mean, they've raced it up. They've raced really cleanly. Uh, you know, a few mishaps, but I mean, at 197, 200 miles an hour, 201, 202 miles an hour, you're going to have that. I mean, just the slightest mistake, you have no reaction time. No, for sure. They're, they're all doing a good job, for sure, especially at the Super Speedway. It's going to be a... Going to be a good ender for sure. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let you pick. We did a crank it up here with these drivers, but I would like to go cockpit here. But I'm going to let you pick the driver who we should go cockpit. No, I'm going to go. I'm going to go for my guy, GT Hawkins. He's running P3 right now. Okay, well, we can just do that. in front of the, the other threat that I see in this race, the four Simpson cars are all lined up together <laughs> still on the inside line as they always fourth fifth sixth and set their fourth fifth sixth and seventh all on that inside row these guys they did it earlier in the race they got an amazing pitch strategy they broke away are they gonna roll the dice and try it again or 
we're gonna have to find out, but with the pit window being much larger, if they can run most to all of this race without a caution, then we might see these Northern Capital guys try again to do that short pit strategy and they can get that couple seconds out in front. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get off the cockpit here. Yep, Tyler Hallman, Travis McDaniel, David Wisehart, and then you've got Garrett D. Grant. Yep, all on that inside line. 52, 25, uh, 69, and 24. And Nick Hunt has moved up to third. Fourth, third. Wow. I've got, I've he's got, he's got him in the 77. He event. is. Now he's in Breast second. Third. In 77 yep. pink car. He might lead this lap. I'm not commentator cursing him for sure. Jacob. I already, I already found that out the hard way. <laughs> well, gonna as we go to talking about him, 34 going to pull out. Come on. Who is going to no, no, Who no, is no, going to no, lead this on, lap? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the 34. Yeah. Here comes Nick Hunt. They're going to take a three, three wide. wide. Oh. He's just going to fall like a rock now. Nobody's going to come out there. The best case scenario for him is if he can. The worst case scenario is going to fall in behind Todd Cray. But all of that hard work that Nick Hunt did to try and get all the way up there to the front pack, to the front of that pack, just thrown it away oh, pretty much man. but he can still get back up there there's still plenty of time almost coming looks like we've about 32 laps to go here yep and jacob bell back up front coming through the tri-oval coming to lap 69 i think jacob's got this one yeah he's I, gonna I think, definitely I, mean, I, I was trying yes. to make sure i didn't say that, so <laughs> got this one though it's good to yes. see the uh, the breast cancer awareness car lead a lap that's definitely going to see spreading awareness for breast cancer. I like the idea that he's got for the month of October. Definitely a, a great way to spread breast cancer. Well, 9.09 Central Time, 10.09 Eastern, and uh, I don't know what Mountain Time is. Was it 8.09 for Mountain yeah, Time? Ascension? What time zones have we done? Well, uh, Central Time's 9.10. Eastern nine. is 10.10. 10. Ah, there you go. So, I don't know what Mountain Time is. Uh, I believe I Mountain Time is going to be 8.10, and then Pacific Time is going to be 7.10. Oh, uh, two hours behind me. Almost there. Here we go. Too wide up front, the 34 car coming up on the 77. Now they're starting to form up. You can see again yes. that two by two for about the entire pack. There's just a couple stragglers on the back there. One of those being the 23, another being, I believe, the. Let's go back there and check. The 23, I know, is one of them. I can tell by that purple, the, the bright purple Whoa. car. Another one is the 27 of Darren Bruce. They're getting a little squirrely the last one, up that 56 front. Car who almost went a lap down before that last caution of Christopher DeBoer, and he is so happy that he did not go <laughs> a lap down. He could fill it up with fuel, and he's back in the race. Oh, yeah, for sure. Scott Marshall, Melo Harris, Everett Grover, Lisa Rankin. Hey, I know that name from somewhere. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. It doesn't sound familiar. <laughs> doesn't sound <laughs> <laughs> G-O-M, 1600, uh, Jeff Lochner, Brennan Kennedy. I told everybody I'd get to chat, and I didn't, and I'm going to do it now. Kimberly Jacoby, Brad Wetzel, Pretzel, Dennis Ansman, Jerry Rigney, BA-63, Chad Frederick, Willie, Jeremy Knapp, Kyle Knapp, Zach Ogburn, uh, Jeff Lochner, again, anybody that I'm missing, I do apologize. Uh, like I said, uh, there's Linda, eight, Linda, out there uh glad to see you out there in chat um i know yeah we had some major hiccups at the beginning elvis so uh we we, we got it going though we got it before green flag and i think that's really all that matters yeah for sure it's all that matters it's good to see and, the grandma watching the streams while mom and grandma tuning in so mom i know who mom is <laughs> i don't know who grandma is game. 
guessing game. Oh, two by two. Couple cards back while I let Josh try and play his guess. Oh, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna guess. I'm just gonna ask. Who's grandma? <laughs> there you go. That's, that's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, good, good, good idea. That's smart. That's smart. Right now. Still two by two up front, Jacob Bell. Oh, the 99. Uh, not to interrupt you there. Big blink blink. there. Yes. Especially with that. All uh -oh. these big, big blinks. These Extreme 99 series has the rule where if your ping goes, I believe it's either to the orange or to the red, then you, you have to just be aware or they're going to ask you to pull off. I think if it goes into orange, they'll let you know. And if it goes I into the that's red, instead of pink. My, my oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think if it goes into the orange, they'll let you know. If it goes into the red, they'll ask you to pull down and pull back. Not necessarily, you know, oh. pull park it, but pull back. And then, of course, after that, it's all about on the internet if it can, you know, if it drops here or not. You know, you know, if the marshal says that, then you just cross your fingers that the internet's holding out. Okay, so Grandma is Linda. Mm-hmm. Okay. There you go. There you go. Well, she 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 <laughs> answered my question, so. There you go. Outsmarting me. Well, yeah, I am a little bit older than you. Just a, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're getting off topic here. As we're enjoying this amazing race at Talladega. Coming to lap 75, three-fourths of the distance here. Yes. Jacob Bell in the number 77 breast cancer awareness car. Oh, the 99 pulling cause. way and up. And the 99 pulls out and high. Is he That's... taking the safe approach about the ping issues? GT Hawkins moving a second on the inside line, and he's... He's looking hungry for the lead. I don't think he's taking, he's not blinking out. I think he might be, I think this is by design. Cause they can't make it to the end. They're gonna have to pit. So maybe is, are we gonna see Rob Haynes maybe come down here? Oh, we're gonna see another one kind of pull out there as well. Are they backing off to come down pit road later? It seems a little early, but if they can get a pack about three, four and cars and they don't get a caution, Easily. And Easily. if not, they're still going to be right up front. If I was on a team right now, especially if I was those Northern Capital cars, I'd be like, let's do it again. You know, we can do it again. Let's do it again. That's going to be the best scenario for us. We could be one, two, three, four. Yes. Coming to the restart. And that would definitely be dream case scenario there for Simpson. The concurrent viewers, well, I think we hit 49 a while ago. We got 19 lots. Can we hit? 49 likes here tonight, folks. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Without the fans out there in chat, of course, that would be one of many reasons this would not be possible. So thank you all. Lap 76, coming to lap 77. I don't see anybody coming down pit road. No, nobody's coming down pit road. Well, I'm, I'm so. not going to jinx this one here. Commentators curse, but can car 77 lead lap 77? That'd be a cool thing. Well, he just took 77, so he's got to come around to the officially... The also pulled out. Oh, He's also did Dalton the same strategy. A couple of these cars dropping to the back. Seems very late. Dalton Chowden, he's dropping to the back now as well. Man, a bunch of these guys with interesting strategies. A couple of damaged cars on the apron right there. That's going to put... Nicholas oh. Roman to the top of that outside lane. And the 32 calling his pit in. And they're coming. Oh, here we go. Cars and a gaggle of cars all going for the undercut strategy or the short pit. Man. If I was the rest of the cars or a couple of cars, especially the uh, GTM cars, I'd say let's yeah. pit. We cannot let those Northern Capital cars get away like last time. They're yep. going to have some company. But... They could do it again, for sure. Yep, no Tyler question. Hallman, Michael Atkins Jr. coming down as well. Garrett D. Grant, David, Travis, Todd Cray, Darren Clement, Paul Irvin, all down pit road. Of course, we're going to watch and see this next time by who will, of course, make that run down pit road. Here they come, coming off of turn number four. 
No, I don't see anybody. Anybody gonna make the dive? No, I don't they're going see for the it. longer no. strategy. Now, if they're gonna make this strategy work, they gotta be single file pushing each other to the max without any problems. Scott Ramler, he's up into P3 right now, just behind his teammate of GT Hawkins. Those are gonna be two to watch for sure. Josh's pick, my pick. Running two <laughs> and three right now. And Nick Hunt signaling he's pitting. Maybe we'll get another gag with cars pitting. But even if you pit, you can pit by yourself in this scenario. If you can catch some of that pack with the Northern Capital cars, um, Mike Lackens Jr., your pole sitter, the 77 Here comes the leaders. Everybody's coming. Everybody, Everybody down pit coming. road. Here comes everyone. And we're going to go yet again. Three. On pit road, they're going to be almost four wide. They're just, they <laughs> three <are> wide. Three. <laughs> Rambler did an amazing job on pit entry. Third to first. If he did not get a speeding penalty, that could be an amazing. That could be the race deciding factor right there for that pit entry for Rambler. Again, it's date. It's Talladega. Probably not, but that could put him in a much better spot than before. Oh it yeah, well. Splash and dash here for most drivers. No tires for anyone. I don't think I've seen anybody take tires the whole race. Uh, there is a couple that I think might have taken maybe. Maybe right sides. Uh, I'm seeing some 12 and a half pit stops, uh, some 11.8, some 12 and a halves again. Uh, so there could be a couple of right siders going on. Possibly, and let's see what's the strategy call going to be. They need to be on the bumpers or just in front of the 69 cars of that Northern Capital cars. Pardon me. And are they going to be able to pull on front of the Northern Capital cars? They have the momentum, but they're in the draft. That's all oh, that matters. That's all that matters. Tyler Holman, Garrett D. Grant, David Weishart, Travis McDaniel, Paul Irvin in the mix here. This is your leaders after this round of green flag pit stops. I still would not count out anybody because we've got G.T. Hawkins, Nicholas Vroman, Darren Bruce, Jacob Bell. I mean, all of them are still right here together. They are all up to speed. Now, if they all can just go single file like you was talking about, Elvis, they will catch Garrett D. Grant and the Northern Capital Samson Motorsports drivers in probably three laps, roughly, as we are at 20 to go here tonight. Next time by 19 to go, we are winding down the final laps here at Josh, Talladega. Josh, I think your estimate was a little wrong. I think we can make that about half a lap or a lap. <laughs> yeah, well, there you know, the, yeah, Rambler they're going to the outside of the lap car of. I believe that is uh, uh, the Todd 21. Cray, sorry. Todd Cray. Yep. Todd Cray, and they, they are now, look at this, Nicholas Bowman, Whoa, oh, oh. and Scott Ramland. They're going to go to the outside. They're going to try and take on the Northern Capital team here on the outside. They need a couple more cars, I think, if they're going to do that. But Jacob yes. Bell, he's going to also come up there. There's going to be four v five, I believe, there, top to bottom. Yeah, we see that we see it here forming up. Now, we also got to take a look back here with uh, Darren Bruce. Oh, Darren's got a handsome, heavy, heavy damage on that 27 machine. He's going to get eight up here by Rob Haynes and uh, Christian DeBoer, Michael Atkins Jr., Darren Clement, and Casey Duncan. Of course, right all behind those, them. I believe all of those guys, all the way back to, I believe, the 32, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just go have a look here. Leave all the way back to the 32. No, actually, never mind. It's farther back. All the way to that number double zero of Nick Hunt, who is in 18th place, can kind of still win. They can actually still win this race. Now we got an 18 car lead pack. And this is going to be a dogfight for sure. Oh, yes. Coming to oh. I believe, 16 laps to go. Uh, coming to 17 to go. 17. <laughs> well, we're mounting with Elvis here tonight, folks. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, the top roof forming up. Here it comes. We got a lot of cars now trying to help out. But the two cars up front, Scott Rambler, GT Hawkins, those guys are now their side. 
by side almost with the lead the leaders in each pack almost side by side ramblers about maybe a car car in between car length back to the bumper of the leader but off of turn two gt hawkins you can see him getting very aggressive on the pushes but so is the 24 car there of i believe garrett grant yeah, everybody garrett, they, is now yeah. taking the gloves off and they are pushing and they no more engine temp saving they are all just going for it here. In these final 15, six, 15, I believe, laps. Uh, coming to 16 here this time. 16, okay. okay next, next, the next go. time by next will time. be 15, next 15 time. to go. <laughs> here, here we go. Uh, Matthew with comes... Elvis here again tonight. So, uh, 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 Elvis, um... Uh, I, I don't know exactly uh, what you're using uh, for uh, to go. It might not even show that to go, does it? That that program you're using? Uh, yeah. So, uh, my team is sponsored by a program. It's called Joel Real Timing, and we use it, and it gives us all kinds of information. I got a track Ooh. map. I got like timing screens, and I got a little dashboard when I get in the car. But for the moment, I'm just using the timing feet. Just seeing all the information, see how long everyone's been on runs, and just collecting data for these last 10 laps. Okay, well, as we come down to this time by 15 to go, of course, it is going to get extreme here. We know it's going to get extreme under 10. Right now, 15 to go. They're still double file. They're still side by side. Everybody is caught up to one another. I still don't count out anybody in this race, though. I really don't. You know, we had a rough start at the beginning. We got in here. We got it going. We got some interviews in. They got to it's been racing. It's a really good race. Yes, and it has been a really, really good race here tonight. As we, of course, are now at a four, going to come down to 14 to go here. We also got, I believe, a new leader. Not a Northern Capital car. It's the number... 57 of M. Scottless Rambler. He's going to lead that lap as well. And now, as you can see, GT Haw his teammate as well, GT Hawkins, he is leading the outside line. Let's see what they're going to be able to do here with Nicholas Roman behind him, Jacob Lee, and then the number 99 of Rob Haynes. Those are the three cars behind GT Hawkins. There seems to be a top, top groove, the third groove forming up there with Michael Atkinson Jr. form that up with Todd Cray, who I believe is a lapped car behind uh, him, but they're still making it work. Let me see here, forming Todd, up. you're yes, saying Todd Cray? Todd is Cray. A lap car. Yeah, he is Actually, a lapped no, car. Actually, no, he's not. No, he is a lap, a lap. down. He oh, is he a lap, lap down. down. Yes, yes, yes he, he is, is a lap down, yes. Yes, he is the first driver one lap down, by the way. And we have a new leader, GT Oh, GT up front. <laughs> and if I was the two, the two uh, GTM cars, I'd say, let's get clear. Let's go back up to that top side. That top side is moving No! Now. Garrett Heath just dropped connection. Oh, no. That's going to be oh. that's one of the contenders for this thing, and he just dropped connection. Man, yes, he is so out. So unfortunate. And, and 13 to go. I mean, he's not going to have time to get back in. And get those laps back. 12 to go this time by Vroom Vroom in the center. GT Hawkins on the inside line. Watch that top line, though. We're forming three wide. We've been three wide here for a lap. So I'd still watch that number 41, though, Michael Atkins Jr., the 21 of Todd Gray, and that number eight of Paul Irvin. You know, it's kind of funny. We're only really, we're, well, we are the first race into the new season here. And, I pretty much got everybody's number and name memorized, Elvis. So I really <laughs> don't even have to look for the most part at the timing screen. Um, where it gets confusing is the wrecks. Uh, and, then oh, when yeah. a and then when ATVO messes up, because that's the program that I use. As we now have about a three wide, but three rows lead. deep. We got Michael Atkins Jr. on the top side. We got Vroom Vroom Roman in the middle and GT Hawkins on the bottom. Roman liking that middle lane. He had the opportunity to come down, but he didn't. They're three wide for the lead. 
Are we gonna see the sacred four wide? Is somebody gonna pull me up? <laughs> We're gonna have to find out. 55 people watching here tonight. 22 likes. Can we hit 50 likes here this evening as they get awfully squirrely up there on that third line? And he, uh, you was uh, you Elvis was just talking about you know that four wide action. The way they're racing it up right now, yeah, three wide is about normal for Talladega. It can happen. That four wide, that's where it really gets interesting. As the 41 of Michael Atkins Jr., I believe, uh, no, he did not leave that lap, so I don't know who got it. I think it might have been GT. Ten to go here. Oh, Elvis, I, I think maybe under three, two to go, we might see that four wide. <laughs> we'll have to see. Oh, no, no, get up. Roddy, oh, that's Roddy ugly. Jr. almost hit oh, the door, G.T. Oh, Hawkins. Oh, almost hit the door. It was Roman. And we're four wide. And they're four wide. There it is. The 21 of Todd Cray. Man, that, that's, that must be scary. Okay, uh, now I am getting a taste of my own medicine here tonight, folks. So I've got to turn it help us down a little bit. <laughs> no problem, Josh. Let's see, you got GT Hawkins leading. He's been leading that inside line for the past couple laps. Oh. And he is oh, and going to... Oh, it's nothing against you. I know why I'm loud. You know I'm loud. I just oh, I, never had I anybody lie. yell in my ear like that. <laughs> <laughs> Again, getting excited now. We got, oh, they're coming to eight to coming to I believe eight or seven to go. Well, I think it's Gary like, and Logan are about the only two that's done that. But I have I had them set to a a certain point. So, <laughs> you're new. Oh, I'm watching maybe some four wide going to go on back here. We're three wide right now with Todd Cray and company. Uh, I thought for a minute they were going to go four wide. Like I said, I had them already oh, set. Oh, no, we're 99 sideways. Wrecking. The 99, yes. Oh, oh, pains. Oh, no. <laughs> the 99 getting Bumper hook. We said it earlier, and it happened again. Nick Hunt in the double zero. Looks like he just got a little bit of bunker hook, bumper hook there. A bunker? We're not in a bunker here, seven. Elvis. Did I say bunker? <laughs> yeah, I think he said bunker, bunker hook. Oh, <laughs> Rob Rob was blinking there. It looks yeah, like he's he, okay. He uh, still watching it here, though, to see exactly what happened. Oh, the double zero. The double zero of Nick Hunt is going to bumper hook that number 99 right down into the 32. And that's where the 99 is going to go sideways. Of course, Nick Hunt going to get a piece again of that number 99 machine. Oh. Disappointing for sure. That's, that's gutting. Oh. Uh, well, we'll of course get the official word from the admins. They're still doing their documentation here and taking a look at it, folks. We'll have to wait and see. All righty. Well, another we're car go that might actually not. Another car that actually I'm going to say might actually be back in the fight. Todd Cray. Todd Cray. Can get the wave around and go back on the lead lap. I think Todd Cray could do it. I think Todd Craig, he's he's right now sitting 20th position. He is going to get his lap back. I'd say for Todd right now, a good result would probably be about like a top 10. Yeah, well, I don't know. Uh, you know, I've had the experience as a broadcaster, Elvis, calling races to where I've seen drivers get on the lead pack. You know, they're, they're, they'll, you know, come out after everybody either pits or don't pits, but they'll start, you know, say somewhere between 12th and 18th. And then, you know, it gets wild up front, everybody wrecks, and then they somehow manage to get around everything, and then they come out with the win. So, you know, I still wouldn't count out Todd Cray. <laughs> no, for sure you shouldn't count him out. But another car that I just seen come down pit road is the number 41 of Michael Atkins Jr., your pole sitter hmm. for tonight, back on pit road, repairing damage probably is what I would have to guess. 
Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, he has been on uh, on in his pit stall there. Well, now he's going to be off and away. 25 and a half seconds. Pit lane 47.4. They're rounded up to 47 and a half. Uh, that counts, of course, Elvis, you know. That counts pit lane coming down, stall, and then coming out. So, yeah, exactly. uh, you've been on our racing long enough. You've kind of done figured that out. <laughs> I, think, I think I've been on this enough, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've done enough races. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. You can ask. Uh, you can ask his mom out there. Uh, she's watching here tonight, folks. So um, I, I will let Elvis, if he wants to, I will let him. Um, how old are you, Elvis? You, you can say it if you want to, or you you don't have um, to. <laughs> I can say how old I am. I can't say how old I've been doing eye racing. I am. 13. 13. Yep, okay. 13. That's fine. We'll just go with that. We'll just, we'll just leave it at that. 13. And, you above know, age, I, Above age limit. Above age limit. Yes. Yes. Uh, you know, that's that's what it is. So, uh, but uh, I got to say, Elvis, I mean, you got some fans out there, man, saying awesome job. And I got to say, you know, I've already said it before, awesome job out here tonight. I do not interview anybody under 10 to go. Uh, and okay. I don't interview anybody, especially if there's a green-white checkered, okay? So yeah. that is something you are going to learn right here tonight. Now, if it comes down to a GWC, uh, they only do one. That's it. That's all they do. Mm. So if we get a caution, say with four to go, uh, I'll put it like that, then, of course, that's going to issue that GWC. So... Um, that's kind of the way we do it, but I've got to say, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think the bumping and banging is over with. <laughs> it looks like the pace car lights are out. We're going to double up this time, coming to the green on lap 96. So when we get to the start finish line, they should have four. I believe four or three laps to go. And we're gonna, I'm just gonna uh, list through the top five really quickly. Whoops. So these are guys that kind of, they're in a great spot right now to win this race. GT Hawkins leading the race. Right beside him is his teammate, M. Scott List Rambler. In third place, Nicholas Vroom Vroom Roman. Fourth place is Jacob Bell. And fifth place is David Weishart. Those are your top five at Talladega Super Speedway for the Extreme Motorsports 99 Rick Motek. Cup Series, and this is going to be a shootout for sure. I'm yes. super excited. I got the popcorn ready to go. I am ready. <laughs> well, you were talking about how many laps were left. We're at five right now. When we get the green here, it will be four to go. So we are going to be within that window of if a quick caution flies, then that green-white checkered will, uh, will you be know, in play. You will be in play. So... I'm going to go ahead and let you get them going here, hopefully for the last time. Uh, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I hope. Let's hope. But <laughs> go ahead, Elvis. <laughs> Let's hope so. I mean, cautions do breed cautions. So these guys are going to be super aggressive coming to four laps to go. Lights are off on the pace car. GT Hawkins in control. Is there might be a little bit of team communication here between GT Hawkins and M. Scottless Rambler trying to get the best jump possible, then get those two in line. Here they go. Pace car peels off underneath the yellow line. The patient waiting for GT Hawkins on when he wants to go. Patiently waiting still, creeping a little bit in front there, and it looks like waiting still, waiting still, and they're going to go. Green right about now, I believe. There they go. Green, green, green is out. Not the best start there for M. Scott. This rim on the top side. Vroom, vroom, Roman read it perfectly. He's going to be right behind GT Hawkins here. And so is that 69 car of David Weishart. Got this rim. We're getting a push from Jacob Bell there. And another car that's up in the mix there is Nick Hunt. Nick Hunt is right now in P9. He was involved okay. in that very recent incident. I don't think there'll be any damage on his car, but here comes Scottless Ramblitz to the outside. 
he is going to be about half a car length ahead of his teammate side by side in turn four at the moment. <laughs> They are I'm... all pushing each other really hard. Jacob Bell is shoving that 57 car hard. Oh, They're going to be watching... side by side, I... headed to the tri -oval here. A little bit of, oh, a little bit of a wiggle. Oh, the bumper hook oh, happened, oh good save. Rambler saves it. Wow. They had the momentum, and Jacob Bell, he was going for it. But the Three bumper to go. hook from them, Camaros, we've seen it in real life. We see it in our Oh, they're getting squirrely. Oh, they're getting squirrely back here. They're bumping and banging. Oh, man. Uh, uh, this is back here around Nick Hunt and company. They're three wide back here. Three they're wide, getting just as rough as they're wrecking. Yeah, they Here's the big one at Talladega. Oh, and Nick Hunt's going to be involved wow. in this. And they are going to have a green-white checkered. Yes, they are. Let's go back and take a look at it here on the Max Speed TV replay. See what happened. There's a bit of bumper hook going on there but with the 42. Yeah, the 42 just got Ooh. into the the back Eight. there, and he just got loose. It looks like there, and he came right across the nose. Of, oh, I believe that oh, was the I number 34 of Dalton I, Chowden, and it just it went off from there. I don't, I don't know here, Elvis. That was really, really close. Uh, I'm seeing, yeah, I'm seeing the 42 there on the outside. He comes up up on the eight and then right down uh, into, yeah, the 34. That's really what started the whole thing. But what happened? You know, he didn't get like hooked he, from behind. Yeah, it was weird. It looks like he just got loose out of turn two and then it just came right down. Looks like to me, it looks like the admins are taking care of it. David Elliott in the 42 car. He has been given an end of line penalty. And the 34 car of Dalton Chowden has also been given an end of line penalty. So we have to see how that all plays out. No, no. The way that works is at fault is the 42 contact with a 34. 42 gets ah. the EOL. That's how that works, buddy. Okay. Well, then yes. I guess I'm reading iRacing chat wrong, but it says... uh. John was given an EOL, so I guess I'm reading that wrong. But uh, hmm, that's weird. Uh, I don't see eye racing chat, so I, I go off of what I see on the penalty chart. <laughs> nah, I got you. So. Yeah, so Looks I think the 34 like... is gonna get that EOL. I think, or no, the 42. Sorry, 42 is gonna, gonna get the yes. EOL. Yeah, that's yes. how I was gonna say. It's 42 yes. will get the EOL. 34 is probably done for the day. His car is totally. Oh done no. For the... David Elliott. Well, the Nick Hunt, the double zero is prepared enough and do one more lap, get maybe a couple of spots, but man, it'd be slim. I mean, you know, I think he, the double. Gonna... Go ahead and finish your thought out there, but no, I already finished. <laughs> uh, I think the double zero of Nick Hunt is done here too. He he's on pit road and uh, uh, man, he has he has no uh, front bumper. <laughs> I think Adam, he's done. Yeah. I had a brain fart. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> all right, so this is going to be a GWC attempt one of one right here. That's like, that's it. That's all they get. Right now, the leader, Scott, M. Scott List Rambler, he's going to control the field on the green-white checkered. Last time we had the restart, B.T. Hawkins was leading. He ended in second place we're gonna have to see it's gonna be an interesting race for sure well we're going look we got my we got josh and mine's picks p1 and p2 <laughs> i think this is the first well, this is a first for me and you because you've never been up here. That's so, true. um, man, this is it's gonna be fun to watch. <laughs> Two teammates right here together. <laughs> now, it's if, be fun. Here's the thing, Elvis. If you're out front, okay, say you're Scott Rambler, you know you've got a teammate with you. 
what line do you choose? Because it's either going to put you, you know, as the leader, you have lane choice. Do you want the outside or do you want the inside? No, I personally would want the inside, but it looks like Scott Rambler, he's taking the outside. So, communication. We'll have to see what he has up his sleeve. Maybe we'll have a bit of teammate action. The, the, the shuffle down move, and TT's going to push him, but I don't know. Is his. What's well, going to happen, but Rambler up on the top? Gonna be good for sure. I guess we will have to wait and see. The own one and only green white checkered attempt. Can they make it? Of course, after the green is thrown, can they make it to the white flag? If they do that, Elvis, you know it. You know, that's that's the ball game. Whatever happens that's after the, the white we're flag we're not, we're not happens. Home. You know, book it. <laughs> If the caution comes out, well, that's the ball game too. It will end under caution if a caution comes out. I, I definitely don't want this race to end under caution. I sure. don't either. We need, to, we need to finish this thing under green. Well, we, we are going to be show. using the, the green-white checkered. We used it Monday, Tuesday. We didn't use it last night, but we're going to use it, use it here tonight. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with using a green-white checkered. Yeah, it does get wild. It does get crazy. There is no no more three-wide rule uh, before uh, turn two. So if they want to go three-wide into one, well, they can. You know, they do have to wait, I believe, after the start-finish line, though. So, uh going to be fun. Oh, Garrett, <laughs> Garrett lost his interwebs. That's what happened. Garrett Heath out Ooh. there in chat. Well, do the honors, Elvis. Get us going here for the green white checkered. All righty. Here we go. We got Scott Rambler on the outside. He's going to be the control card. His teammate, GT Hawkins, in second on the inside. Is there going to be a little bit of a slide-in action between the teammates? We're going to have to find out here. Coming to the green-white checkered here at Talladega Super Speedway for the Rick Motek Cup Series on Extreme 99 and broadcasted by Max Speed TV. Coming to the green flag here, and green is out. And GT Hawkins gets a good start, but it looks like, yep, Rambler gets a better second initial drive. But GT Hawkins is still there. Oh, Hawkins watch the outside! The, with Jacob the outside! Pushing him like crazy. GT Hawkins to the lead. GT to the lead, but the outside. The 69 of David Weishart. He's got a teammate with the 24 of Garrett D. Grant. We're three wide. Here comes another one to the outside. That is going to be the 21 of Todd Cray. So we got three, well, three wide, three rooms deep here. Coming out of turn number four here momentarily. Can they hit that white flag here tonight? Oh, right man. An amazing run there out of turn four. Jacob Can he get Bell. GT Hawkins. GT's going to have to fight for it. Jacob Bell, he's almost clear there. At the white bottom flag. Is clear if he wants to come down, but he is not. And there he goes. He, uh, what? he chooses. Flag, flag in the air. GT Hawkins, he's boxed in just it's like that. He can't do anything. Oh, come on. Yeah, boxed in. We seen that with GT. Oh, oh man. The on the outside. outside. On the outside, he flies to the lead, getting pushed by his teammate. David Weishart to the lead with Garrett Grant pushing him. That outside lane just slingshotted right past. Now they're going to come all the way down to the bottom. I think the only challenger to these guys oh, is going to be out of Jacob Bell trying to come to the bottom. Oh, no, here we go. The Jacob 69, the line, and oh, the, the 24 hook. going oh. around. And the big one. Here the it comes, yes. Who's going to get it? Scott Ramler, I believe, got it. Who got it? I David Weishart no. got it. David Weishart by .005 gets the victory oh. at Talladega Super Speedway. Yep, David Weishart edged him out. We're going to go back and take a look here. <laughs> This is a replay here for this finish. Of course, the big one 
happening behind them. It's been that all week long. So that was no surprise there. But we're going to see, of course, those Northern Capital guys just make a slingshot move up to the front. And then right there, the 77 getting into that left quarter panel of the 24. 24 goes around. And then it was on from there. Breaking behind them, the 57 to the inside. Just not enough there. And crossing the stripe, you cannot get any closer than that folks oh my lord your top three was separated by let your top five part of me was separated by less than two tenths of a second that is impressive that is very very impressive <laughs> oh man alrighty folks will give us just a few minutes to get the top three up here for the max BTV post race show don't go anywhere we will be right back
No? Hey folks, back live here on Max B TV. We have caught up with the top three here tonight. We're going to start here with GT Hawkins, but I believe Elvis Rankin, Lou King, has caught up with that number 14. Elvis? GT, man, tough night tonight. Finished P3. Really good race for you. It looks like you got boxed in on that last lap, or maybe a couple times. Can you walk us through that last lap? Uh, yeah, going into one, we were, uh, you know, Jacob got a huge like got way out in front of everybody and then um so we caught him super quickly and i didn't know what to do <laughs> so then I, I knew everybody behind me wouldn't know to check up and couldn't see that we were approaching him that quickly so um then we all got kind of jumbled there and i thought i was going around and then obviously got boxed in again which is that's honestly my plan i just kind of want to be on the bottom and in case i need to escape and so I didn't mind being down there, and I figured I'd get beat around a little bit. I was the whole race, which was uh, not not in a bad way. That was awesome. Um, and so, yeah, from there, it was just like I knew the right as we were coming to the line, 77 was down in the grass or on the apron. I knew he was down there. I knew there's people on my outside, so I just tried to very gingerly move up and make it across the line going straight. Yeah, for sure. And you, your whole team did very, very good tonight. Now, on to Chicagoland for round number two. How do you feel going into Chicagoland? I have no idea. Um, for yeah, whatever he reason, he's, I'm... he's lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, uh, be... it sounds like me. Well, I used to run this. I, I just, I'm so hit or miss with Cup Car right now so i especially on the mile and a half some it's not my specialty so and and there's um, another law <laughs> <laughs> well for sure uh, p3 good points night for you sorry go ahead yeah no um yeah it was good we were hoping to get rambler me and him one too that would have been ideal but we'll take second and third uh um darren finished 11th i believe and uh yeah we had we had a lot of good runs on our team. So no, overall, we're we're happy to get out of Talladega and move on. Yeah, for sure. And your whole team did amazing tonight. But once you finish in the top three, you get to uh, thank all those sponsors that are on your guys' car. So is there anybody you'd like to thank tonight? Yeah, sure do. Uh, my teammates, GT Motorsports. Um, great week. Um, Butt Kicker, uh, RB Custom Rigs, Rick Motec, Extreme Motorsports, Max B TV, and all my friends family. Thanks for watching. Yeah, for sure. Very good run tonight. GT Hawkins ends up P3 after Talladega. Awesome job, GT. We'll see you next week, bud. Thanks, guys. We'll see you. Have a good night. Uh -huh. All right. Well, that is going to bring us here to our second place finisher yeah. here tonight. His name is uh, Scott List Rambler, but we're going to go, hmm, Scott List Rambler here tonight. You know, i got to give him a hard time with that M there in his name. Uh <laughs> Scott, awesome job out here, buddy. You find yourself up front. Uh, man, it was wild, though, there toward the end. A little too wide early on. Uh, but, man, it, it got, well, as I like to call it, a little extreme there, as always. It's been like that all week long. Talk about Talladega here to start things off. And, man, what was it like coming down to the wire, down to the final lap for the green-white checkered, and there it goes. Everybody's wrecking, and you somehow managed to get around it. Go ahead. Uh, the only thing I could think is I missed it by that much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... That whole finish was absolutely insane. Uh, most of us up front had been running there pretty much all day, running clean, being able to run as tight as we were. That was a lot of fun. But uh, most of our strategy there toward the beginning, even with all the two wide and everything, was just survive. If you can make it to the last 20 laps, then anything that happens after that just goes out the window. So... Uh, GT and I put ourselves in pretty good position. We were tr doing our best to uh, control the restarts. Uh, David and his teammates made an absolutely brilliant move to the outside, going three wide into turn one on that final restart and just abso absolutely started hauling. I don't know how they did it, <laughs> but uh, man, coming down to the checkers, seeing, uh, I think it was Garrett Grant get spun by the 77. They get checked up. Wiseheart doesn't have any help, and I think I still had Vroman behind me at the time giving me a little bit of a boost. It, it came down to 
well, almost about eight inches at the finish, no. so I really oh, yeah. can't be disappointed. Oh, yeah, yeah. We we went there and took a look at it, and I even stopped it there at the finish. I mean, it was it was that much. I think it's six one hundredths of a second. It was that close at the end. Yeah, man, that, that was absolutely nuts. Sorry. Oh, no, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Still well, trying to catch my breath. Well, round two, round one over with to start things off here at Talladega. Round two, uh, Chicago land, very, very fast mile and a half for, you know, it being Chicago land. In the cup cars, man, what is your thoughts on, on that track for round two? Well, for Chicago land, I think we're actually going to be able to race it the uh as much as i love talladega and daytona it's kind of a crapshoot you can't really come in and expect to finish a certain place uh at least for me with the mile and a half so i think i could say i'm looking to get up into the top five at the very least uh maybe even squeeze out a win come out on top next time but uh i'm looking forward to it no, well, one spot short here tonight, but good points not for you. Of course, as always, any final thoughts, shout-outs, thanks you want to give before you go celebrate, bud? Absolutely. want to give a shout-out to you guys at Max Speed TV for broadcasting and to everybody that tuned in to watch tonight. I want to thank our new sponsor, Butt Kicker, at GT Motorsports, uh, my teammate GT and all the guys there for uh, working fantastically over the course of the week. Um uh, want to thank Rick and all the guys that put on everything at extreme. And, uh, I believe that's everybody or, uh, Rick Bell's racing, Rick Bell, uh, racing rigs. Got to shout them out as well. All righty, buddy. Well, we will see you next week for Chicago Lango celebrate, bud. All right. Thanks, man. Uh, -huh. all right. Well, that is going to bring us to our winner here tonight. He doesn't need an interview, but I guess we'll go ahead and give him one anyway. And, uh, David, you won it by, as words from Michael, uh, he lost it by that much. You won it by that much. <laughs> man, <laughs> talk about it. Oh, man. That was a, that was a crazy ending there. But uh, going into the race, we really didn't have a plan as a team. We were just kind of playing it by ear. And uh, we all pitted on that first pit stop except our teammate, Tyler, which kind of helped us a little bit because we ended up pitting with him so he didn't go a lap down. And, uh, man, we only took two tires, and we were out there. We were gone. We got lined up perfectly and pulling away from them there. And I think we were looking pretty good. Remind, I, was, I said on the radio, it reminded me of uh, Stuart Haas back in uh, a couple years ago. Uh, I think and then, somebody else up here in the booth said I, the same thing. I, I just raised so. my hands. I said that, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It reminded me a lot of that. And uh, and then uh, once the caution came out, you know, we were just kind of mired back there in about 10th place and couldn't really go anywhere. And uh, at the end there, I really didn't want to be on the inside line. You're just kind of boxed in down there and you can't make any moves. So that last restart, when I seen that me and uh, my teammate Garrett were uh, lined up there on the outside, I was kind of licking my chops there and uh, got a huge run coming through one and two. And thankfully, they got rid of that uh, no three wide rule. Uh, so I was, able to, uh, I was able to capitalize on that run and go to the top and, uh, they got checked up, I think on the middle lane or inside lane there. Uh, I think it was on the last lap and man, me and Garrett were like a rocket down the back straight away and just took off. And, uh, there was a little confusion coming out of four. I wanted to block the middle. He wanted to block the bottom. So we kind of separated there and then, and Garrett got turned and I, I thought I lost all my momentum. I didn't have a push and, uh, just lucky to hang on there by inches. Yeah, by inches. I mean, look, we'll, we'll talk about that inches here for a second. You know, that, when that happened, when that wreck happened, you you say you lost the momentum, and you're seeing that 57 there creeping down to the inside of you. What was going through your mind knowing that, you know, he, he could very well steal this from you, and he almost did, but what was your mindset? Well, I looked up in my mirror and saw I didn't have anybody behind me. So, and I seen he was a little bit faster than me, but what I really saw was he had a teammate behind him. He had GT behind him. And uh, I thought they were just going to motor on by me. Uh, but I guess, uh, I guess the momentum I was carrying was obviously it was just enough to allow me to win by that much. That much. Yes. Well, I'm going to let Elvis, we're going to double team you here. Uh, Elvis, real quick, man, any questions for David? 
No, besides, uh, David, you did an amazing job tonight. But uh, my question is, how are you going to go into next week? How do you feel about Chicagoland? Uh, I like Chicagoland. It's a track that's really grown on me. Uh, I've struggled with this tire model a little bit. Uh, I think they introduced it at the beginning of last season or two seasons ago. I kind of struggled with it. Uh, I'll get some practice in this weekend, though, and uh, I, I'm pretty confident in our team that I think we're all going to have another strong showing there as well. And, of course, when you uh, are in the top three, and tonight you're in po- top of the finished first place, you get to obviously thank all those sponsors at Sam's, Samson Motorsports. So does anybody like to thank? Uh, I just want to thank Rick Murtuck for sponsoring the series and Rick Donathan for uh, putting all this on. Thank uh, Russ Anderson and Northern Capital for sponsoring every- Samson Motorsports. Got to thank everybody at Samson Motorsports. We've uh, started the season off great. You know, all four races, you can't ask for much more than to – uh, have uh, in every series somebody on our teams had a shot to win there at the end. So uh, can't thank him enough for that. And uh, thank you all for broadcasting. All righty, David. Well, awesome job. I didn't even have to ask you any of that. Elvis took over like he did tonight, man. He he did an awesome job as well. Uh, you know, gave my voice a break. So uh, I got to give a shout out to him too. But awesome job to you. Grabbing the first win of the season. Get ready for Chicago land. Uh, this season is just getting started, David. Awesome job. We'll see you at Chicago land, bud. Thanks, guys. See y'all then. Uh-huh. All right, Elvis, that is going to do it for the top three, bud. But, man, before we get to the unofficial results, pending any admin stuff, I got to say, just like the past three nights, that was another amazing race here at Talladega. Yeah, it was amazing tonight for sure. It was so exciting, you know. They had plenty of action from the beginning to the end for sure, and it always kept it exciting. All righty, folks. Well, let's get down here to the unofficial results. Pretty good admin stuff here tonight. David Weishart going to grab the win here this evening. Awesome job on his first win of the season as we get things started. Scott Ramler going to finish in that second spot. GT Hawkins, a teammate right there in third. Michael Thwaites in fourth. Nicholas Froman, fifth. Jacob Bell, sixth. Darren Clement, seventh. Paul Irvin in eighth. Kristen DeBoer, ninth. And Todd Curry is going to round out the top ten. Elvis? I don't have the results, so you're going to have to finish this off, Josh. Oh, wow. We're going to have to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dan Bruce at 11th. Tyler Hallman in 12th. Nick Hunt 13th. Rob Haynes 14th. Garrett D. Grant 15th. Travis McDaniel in 16th. Casey Duncan in 17th. Michael Lacken Jr. in 18th. Gary May 19th. Dalton Cowden in 20th. John Sterling 21st. David Elliott 22nd. Mike Rominger, the defending champion, 23rd. Jacob Lee 24th. Garrett Heath 25th. Man, tough break for Garrett out there. Garrett Heath having some internet issues. Uh, his internet got taken out and just lost everything. Timothy Zayas in 26th. And rounding out our field here tonight is going to be a Richie Evans. But congratulations goes to our winner here this evening, David Weishart. And thank you, of course, everybody out there for tuning in here tonight. And again, Elvis, man, awesome, awesome job out here tonight, buddy. Uh, your nerves did not even play a factor out here tonight. I, I, do you even have any nerves by chance? I, I, I've never heard that word before. Okay. Well, uh, I'm just saying <laughs> you, you did a lot better than I did on my first night. <laughs> uh, I, awesome job, bud. We're going to get you back up here in the booth for sure. Oh, I'd love to be yes. back too. Yes, sure. we, yeah, we're, we're going to work on that for sure, bud. But we're going to end it off here tonight for the Rainbow Tech Cup Series, round number one here at Talladega. Shout out to Frank Rico and the team over there at Rick Motech. Again, coming on board for the Cup Series for Extreme Motorsports and 99.com. Shout out to all the fans out there in the chat here tonight. I think we hit like a 52 at peak or something like that. We've got 30 likes here tonight. I still think we could hit that 50 like mark, folks. So, man, thank you all again for tuning in. But until next time, next week, folks, stay safe for Extreme Motorsports and 99.com and Max Speed TV. Have a good night.